looking up at. Happy Chinese New Year to all. Mm, this today, Appa is going to make a prosperity bowl, also known as Pen Chai or Pun Choi in Cantonese. Um, now, um, actually, many people has been asking Appa to make this dish, but Appa has been delaying because I really think this dish is too simple. I don't know what am I supposed to show, but people keep on asking, so I just do it. And I have another worry. I quite worry that uh, after I cook, how are we going to finish it? So uh, finally, I decided to get a few of my friends to come over just to help us finish the food. Okay, we don't want to waste any. Just in case you don't know, all the video Appa has done, the 300 over videos Appa has done for the past one year, they are all Appa's family dinner. Okay, Appa did not purposely make any special video to cater for this particular YouTube. Alright, they are all Appa's family dinner, simple dinner. Okay, so let's um, start now. Uh, you need to get a like the name suggests, it's a bowl. So you are supposed to get something like this. To be very frank, this is a bit too big for me today. But uh, I find in another one which is a bit too small. So you need a, a pot which can really um, preserve some of the heat. Okay, so you want to get one, your get uh, get ready one of this, and then now prosperity bowl. Um, as the name suggests. It has to be has a lot of uh, different kinds of ingredient. So uh, I have prepared ten types of ingredient here. I would suggest minimum eight. Okay, for Chinese light number eight. So I have ten here. So uh, well, let's see what do we have. First of all, I have some fish maw. All right. So this this fish maw is uh, has been soaked for a few hours. Things in this particular bowl here, a plate has uh, actually need uh, pre-soak for hours okay actually uh, this shiitake mushroom you only pre-soak for half an hour to one hour should be enough and uh, this is the dried bean curd uh, you probably need one two hours uh, this fish maw here uh, depending what kind of fish maw there are many types of fish maw that you can find so the one that Appa bought me need to soak under water at least three hours to four hours so how do you know how long to soak your fish uh, fish maw ask the person who sell it to you okay because different fish maw has um, different characteristic okay so uh, so that until it is softened like this and Abba has some uh, shrimp yeah prawns now in prosperity bowl we do not devein the prawn. I we want to keep the prawn intake, yeah, complete. So we just remove a little bit of head, the the, the pointing uh, sharp part, and also the leg, okay, and wash it. That's all, all right. And I have some roast pork here, okay. And this is the uh, abalone in a cane. This is actually the braised abalone in a cane. So keep the the brine. This is actually the the brine uh, which used to. Uh, soak the the abalone so i'm going to use the brine also and i have uh, two scallop dry scallop soak it in underwater some uh, we have some veggie some uh, cabbage some carrot and uh, cauliflower right total we have about 10 so some of it we actually need to um, um blanch it okay especially the veggie and then after, after that, we have to cook the gravy separately with uh, a chicken stock and also using part of the brine here. Okay, the gravy here. Now, um, there's no rule as to what you can put here. You can make some fried meatball. As initially, I want to make fried meatball also. So you can make some fried meatball and put it in. Or you can actually use whatever things that you can think of, even some fried fish, some roasted duck, some roasted chicken all right build up your 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 prosperity bowl the 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 the, the, bad, the, the more the merrier okay so to me there's no magic as to how you want to prepare prepare this different ingredient the only thing i'm going to show you is how to prepare the gravy that's all all right so now let's start blanching so i have one hot or boiling pot of water here and before i put my i blanch my 
veggie, I'm going to put in a little bit of salt. And a bit of oil. Okay, this is going to make the uh, veggies color to be even nicer. First of all, let's do the cauliflower. Is this cauliflower or broccoli? I always uh, confuse between the two. Okay, this may only take about one, two minutes. Blanch it, then remove it, then continue with other veggie. Okay, I don't have to show you the whole process. We'll come back shortly. This is about two minutes blanching. As you can see, the color has actually become greener. Yeah, that's the reason why I put the oil and salt. This is exactly the color we wanted. Okay, and we want to uh, take it out. Very beautiful green color. And let's continue with uh, other veggie. My carrot. We want some carrot to give it a nice color for the uh, prosperity bowl. Okay, let it blanch. Then we come back. After another two, three minutes, our carrot is almost done. Okay, take it out. Oops. It's okay. Ow! It's hot. Be careful. Now we want to blend the uh, cabbage. We come back shortly. Okay, this is after about three minutes. You don't have to be make it fully cooked because later we're still going to cook it under the bowl later, yeah, the pot. So take it out. Okay, be careful. This is very hot. Okay, so the next thing we are going to cook is actually the prawn. Not too long, okay? Not more than three minutes cooking your prawn. Anything above three minutes will be overcooked, definitely. I did not cook it for three minutes because I'm going to cook later also inside the bowl. So this is only about one, one and a half minute and I'm going to take it out. Okay. Then you want to blanch your uh, fish bowl. Just for one or two minutes will do. Then we continue with the rest. This is after about two minutes. We take it out. Then we can blanch our mushroom. All right, mushroom, I actually let it blanch for about three, four minutes, a little bit longer. Then we can take it out. And let's blanch our dried bean curd, which it has been softened under cold water for about 2-3 hours. This shouldn't take more than a minute or two. Okay, after a minute or two, this is done. 
remove it from the hot wa boiling water and we can uh, wait until the ingredients a bit cool down then we will start arranging it into the bowl okay okay my yellow pot just now is too big my orange pot is too small I'm using some way in between here this is actually a ceramic one okay so I hope you can see clearly let's put on the bottom the uh, first layer on the for cabbage yeah put the cabbage on the first on the first layer arrange it evenly okay then we can put the second layer for the uh, the dried bean curd this all this will soak up the flavor from all the meat later yeah nicely follow with my fish maw can you see clearly oh okay good again put it nicely okay you need to find a nice size pot yeah because too big it will it doesn't look nice uh, okay, so what's follow after this? We can actually. Uh, this is the uh, carrot. Carrot. And we have the cauliflower. We can arrange a bit. Usually they will really arrange it in a very nice and beautiful manner and seriously Appa is not good in arranging things uh, Okay uh, You can adjust, yeah, use your own creativity uh, Put in the abalone. All oh, this abalone is already uh, braised. Yeah, the one I'm using is already braised. So it's very easy to use. Not easy if you want to use fresh ones. Yeah, fresh ones very difficult to uh, make it uh, soften. Does it look nicer now? <laughs> okay, use your own activity, uh, creativity, please. Appa is no good at this. Okay. So our prawns How do I arrange it? Arrange it like a sun Yep Should be quite interesting Arrange it like a sun My prawn is still only half cooked yeah? Don't forget it is not fully cooked yet. Arrange it like a sun. And then, of course, uh, we have some shiitake mushroom. Not forgetting our rose paw. Let me clear my plates. I'm going to put our rose fork around Oops, my abalone can't see really. uh, Expensive stuff, must put on top <laughs> Okay, then we want to put our 
rose paw seriously you all can i'm sure you most of you can do better than me on this Okay, does it look better now? I hope it does. Maybe I should have put the the rose pot in uh, in the in the lower layer, yeah. Right, it's okay. Still try not to block. Yeah, I shouldn't block my uh, abalone and also the nice looking, nice looking uh, broccoli or cauliflower. Can someone tell me is that broccoli flower, cauliflower or broccoli? <laughs> I always confuse the two. Okay, so now we want to make the gravy. Right, we want to make our gravy now. Use some chicken stock, okay? Put this on chicken stock, it may not be enough. Yeah, you may have to add some hot water later. And let me see now if you have the braised, are you using the braised uh, abalone like APA did? Then you can use you can put in the braised right now. If you don't have the braised, it's okay because you only need to flavor it with two things. Um, you can use the uh, uh, this is the oyster sauce and some abalone sauce, okay? So I raise the heat. I'm gonna put in some oyster sauce. Follow with some abalone sauce. Okay, this is the water I use to soak my a uh, scallop and you want to adjust you want to flavor this a little bit give it a bit of salt with some a bit of sugar Okay, so like, uh, and then you want, you can starch, add a bit of starch to make it, make this uh, solution or soup thick, a uh, gravy thicker. Like I said, um, if you don't have the, this uh, gravy sauce, it's okay. Yeah, but because I have it, so I'm going to use it. I'm just going to add a little bit hot water. Okay. And I'm going to starch it a little bit. You can adjust your, your starch, okay? You don't have to... Uh, usually, I don't like it too thick. So, I'm just using two teaspoons of cornstarch added with some hot water, about uh, six teaspoons of water. If you want thicker, by all means, yeah? But I don't like my, I, I don't like my gravy to be too thick.
This is actually, actually a, a little bit sticky because of my um, abalone gravy just now. So just adding some starch solution. Okay. So it becomes thicker now. Okay. Don't mind a little adding a little bit of light soy sauce. Done. You don't even have to wait for it to be boiled. Yeah. Just make it uh, make it hot is enough. And I'm going to uh, add this into uh, into my uh, prosperity bowl. Right, we're going to add the gravy into our prosperity bowl. Okay. And we want to uh, let it cook. Let's bring it to a boil. Then it is ready for to be uh, to be consumed. Yeah, to be eaten. Because everything here is already pre-cooked and blanched. Remember, so we will come back shortly. It probably takes only um, three minutes or so. Okay, my pun choy has been simmering for about five minutes. It should be done. Okay. Look at this beautiful thing. Okay, so uh, happy Chinese to you all. Uh, this is my Abba's Pun Choi. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Abba's Facebook and click the like follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Abba's uh, YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.